In the aftermath of 2016 parliamentary and local council elections of February, 145 election petitions were filed in the course of law, challenging the results. One of the most protracted legal battles was over the parliamentary seat of Jinja Municipality West between Paul Muiru of the opposition FDC party and Nathan Igeme Nabeta of the ruling NRM party. The petition is yet to be disposed of by the Court of Appeal, the highest court in election petitions. They keep on saying, what happened to our case? We are, maybe they even bought you. We don't hear you complaining, you know, we don't hear taking place. So we call upon the judiciary to come up and inform the public. There are others suffering a similar fate. Stephen Sechigozi contested with Peter Sematimba for Busiro South seat, while a badogi Ismail Waguma challenged the elections of Buino Fred Kiakulaga for Kiguru North constituency. Hearing of these appeals were concluded, but the justices are yet to deliver the verdicts. In the meantime, the MPs whose elections were challenged remain in Parliament. The petitioners are unhappy, saying justice delayed is justice denied. They know of a court order that is telling someone to vacate, and they see someone is still seated in Parliament. So um, I, I also don't know what to tell my bosses in the constituents, because some people actually think that we, we, we took money. My colleague filed a notice of appeal on the 23rd of June, but up to now, it's more than a full year. Clause 66 of the Parliamentary Elections Act mandates the Court of Appeal, currently led by the Deputy Chief Justice Sivini Kavuma, to expeditiously dispose of election petitions, even when it requires suspending other matters pending before the court. And, uh, I think these delays undermine the rule of law, undermine democracy. They undermine people's confidence in the judiciary that it is a neutral arbiter. The judiciary spokesperson Vincent Mgabo told NTV that Chief Justice Bat Katrebe has directed judicial officers to clear at least 50 cases off their desks before the end of August. Uh, all efforts are being made in the month of August to deliver all the pending rulings. He added that judgment in two election petitions are scheduled to be delivered on Monday 7th August. The petitions are of Nyakato Mary Ann versus Babilie Veronica Kadogo for Buyendek District Woman Member Parliament, Moses Vainamasko versus Samuel Mugisha for Kiuhura District Chairman. NTV has seen a copy of the letter by the Chief Justice directing judicial officers to dispose of all election petitions before 30th August. Those pending judgments are 50. If they remove those two for next week, it will leave us with 48. Last night I was talking to people, they were saying, no, let us go and meet the, the Deputy Chief Justice and the Chief Justice. If for you, you have failed. So, and I understand the agitation. Of course, I also get irritated. The individual judicial officers who delay to deliver judgments have a case to answer. Deputy Chief Justice Stephen Kavuma who heads the Court of Appeal is due to retire next month. He's handling some of the election petitions. But if you, are, you have some matters which are pending, you, you are given some three months to clear your desk so that you don't inconvenience the parties. So, but I don't think that should be really the norm. A judge who knows that he's due to retire should do clear his desk as early as possible. If he leaves before judgments are written, then they would have to be a retrial. In his letter, the Chief Justice says a judicial officer is said to retire in the next six months and has more than 30 pending judgments should not take on any new cases. Jingo Francis, NTV Weekend Edition.